Hello, this is Debbie Kay with the League of Women Voters of Portland, and you are watching Video Voters Guide or listening to our podcast. We are talking today with candidates running in the November 5th, 2024 general election. The League of Women Voters is grateful for the support of the Carol and Velma Sailing Foundation, the League of Women Voters of Portland Education Fund, the Weiss Foundation, and our media partner, Metro East Community Media. With me today is Eric Zimmerman, running for Portland City Council in District 4, which covers Portland, west of the Willamette River, and a portion of Southeast Portland. Welcome, Mr. Zimmerman. Hi, thank you for having me. Glad you could make it. Let's get started. Please tell us a little about yourself and why you are running for this office. Thanks. You know, I am a Portland born uh, uh, Oregonian. I grew up here. My mom is a retired public schools teacher. So for me, Portland is home. It's always been home. I uh, started my career at Multnomah County a long time ago. I've served as the chief of staff for two of our county commissioners, previously Diane McKeel and currently for Multnomah County Commissioner uh, Julia Broom Edwards. I've also been a deputy city manager in two Oregon cities where I had department leadership who worked for me. And I've been a senior advisor in Portland City Hall when we started the recovery for downtown after the pandemic. And then I've also spent uh, concurrently during this time 17 years in the Oregon Army National Guard, where I do that part time and have been deployed across the, the world, both in combat and peacekeeping and even a diplomatic post at one of our embassies. Um, so I'm running because I think Portland still has a lot of paths to take, a lot of steps to take on the path to recovering, to being a safer, cleaner city. I think that some of us running have got to have the experience to deliver on those needs at City Hall. And our future and our next chapter is very, very personal to me. And I think that public safety and shelter and livability are front of mind for me and they're front of mind for most of our voters. Thank you. Tell us, please, what are your ideas for working productively with the other city council members from your district? I, I have some great uh, colleagues who are also running, and I think that our district is has shown a, a trend over the last few elections, and I think we'll probably show that trend again, where we're working from some like-minded perspectives about shelter, about public safety. Um, I've gotten to know a number of them well. I've learned something from, I think, everybody. I hope they've learned something from me, and I think that those good working relationships kind of have already started to, to bloom a bit. Um, and it's important, not just in our district, but also our across all four districts, right? Those partnerships in other districts where we have alignment, where we have commonality uh, are very important to me. So listening, knowing that we are representing our districts first and foremost, and that everybody brings a, a perspective to the table those are the things that have helped me in this career already, and I think they will help me uh, moving forward in this new model. Thanks. What, if any, actions would you consider taking to address the current concerns related to the critical energy infrastructure hub on the Willamette River? Yeah, so I think, you know, as a District 4 representative where a CEI hub exists, it's front of mind from a safety perspective, a long-term perspective, from an environmental perspective. You know, Commissioner Myron at, the, at Multnomah County, who is one of my endorsers, has also shared with me her plan for risk bonding that she'll be bringing forward at the county level. I think that's an important step. What I'm really trying to talk about when it comes to CEI is that we make today, or today we focus on making it safer, meaning safer in storage, safer in how materials and fuels are transported, but tomorrow that we're looking for a new location, right? So that we get a CEI hub that is not either as concentrated as this one is, is not on a riverbank that serves the entire region and is not in an area that is incredibly vulnerable to moving earth and, and liquefaction ground. So that's on my mind. So safer today and a future somewhere else uh, tomorrow. And I think about this a lot because we value 
not just that corridor, but Forest Park is something that is incredibly important to all Portlanders. It's in my district. And if the CEI hub had a catastrophic event, we would have and we would experience the largest urban forest fire in our country's history, and it would come into downtown Portland. So I do think we have to care about that. We have to be prepared for mitigation, but also prevention. Thank you. You are listening to the Video Voters Guide interview and podcast of Eric Zimmerman, who is running for Portland City Council, District 4. Our next question, are you satisfied with the performance of the Joint Office of Homeless Services? If not, what changes would you support? Please explain your answer. So firstly, I'm not satisfied. I actually came back to the county to help Commissioner Burm Edwards in large part because the joint office was not working in the direction or on the problems that were most facing uh, folks living on the street in Portland. I think that the joint office has not historically placed the need for shelter as high as it is. I think that the joint office has long uh, allowed a certain set of providers not to have good outcomes and continues to fund those providers with no accountability. So that's very concerning to me. We have moved them in a direction that I think is important. We have funded a larger shelter package than has ever been funded. And the joint office is now on the hook for delivering on on siting, opening, and acquiring more shelter than they've ever been asked to do. I want to see that be accomplished. I think that the joint office has uh, a poorly thought out plan for how they how they manage the distribution of things like tents versus the need to not explode camps on our streets and not make problems worse. And I think that the joint office has not taken seriously the um the need to move folks to shelter versus just making contact with folks and not actually achieving any sort of outcome. Those are the areas that as a city councilor, I want to see the county and the joint office do better if we as a city council are going to stay a part of it. Thank you, Mr. Zimmerman. We are out of time. This concludes okay. the League of Women Voters of Portland Video Voters Guide and podcast interview of Eric Zimmerman running for Portland City Council District 4. Election day is November 5th, Tuesday. To find additional election resources, please visit the League of Women Voters of Portland's website, lwvpdx.org, and then exercise your right to vote. Your voice matters. Thank you for your attention.